Hello everyone, it's David, and welcome to the first part of our Digimon Digital Card Battle playthrough. And this is uh, basically going to be showing the uh, how do we get registered, which is obviously the most simple part, <laughs> of course. And uh, this will be, uh, the last part of this video will be showing how a tutorial on how the game is played. So first we start off uh, by putting in our name, and we have to now choose a partner card. And it tells right there every time we win a battle, partners level up and all that. We have three partners to choose from. Vmon, Hawkmon, and Armadillomon. And each partner has his own specific deck. And I decided to choose Vmon because he's very awesome. And uh, this is the character that we play as. Oh, and guys, if you uh, hear any of the audio distortion, uh, please excuse me on that. It's just that... Uh, I want to get used to doing this, you know what I'm saying? Well, anyway, it's, it's uh, going to tell us, uh, give us the dirt on how this game is played. Like, like you, you it's based, think of it as like Yu-Gi-Oh and all that. And uh, Betamon and Beginner City will teach us how to how to really play the game. And uh, Beginner City is obviously where we start off. I decided to uh, overwrite File 2 since File 1 is actually my main file. And that's uh, Demi Vmon right there, saving us the game. And now we get to enjoy. So now we have to go to the Battle Cafe and talk to Betamon. And Betamon is right there. What he's what he's gonna do is like, like you explained earlier, it's gonna it's, he's gonna uh, tell us uh, what's the dirt on all the cities and all the battle arenas and pretty much how the game is played. And every time you beat a uh, city's battle arena, you'll get the passcode to advance to the next city. Now he'll now he'll uh, give us a tutorial on how the game is played. Now right here, these two cards decide on who goes first and who goes second and whatnot. And as you can see, I go second. Now here's the thing. Since I go second, that means I get to attack him first. It'll show us later. Oh, and by the way, if you guys know how to uh, fix this audio problem, please let me know. Hey, uh, I mean, if you really know for sure how to fix this. Anyway, back to the game. Like it says right there, it's best to start off with cards that have a little letter R on the top left corner of the card. It's best to start off with a rookie level Digimon. Because if you start off with a champion or ultimate level Digimon first, you'll have like lower lower status so it's best that you start off with a rookie level and uh, that right there is showing uh, that that plus 10 are digivolve uh, points that you can add because the DP plus is how much uh, digivolve point digivolution points that you need in order to digivolve and the plus P is how much digivolve points that you can uh, add to your slots and as you can see right here I have my own level R card that is in that is the uh, red card of uh, Agumon. Well, he's basically the only card that we can use at the moment. And now, uh, since that card right there, Mori Shellmon, it has very very good uh, plus p plus points right there. It's plus thirty. And uh, as you can see right there, Dromojamon that. That green card right there in, in my hand. I have enough Digivolve points to di to a Digivolve, but the thing is about Digivolution, I have to have the uh, champion level card with the same color in order to Digivolve. Like, um, like say if I had a red champion level card, like the card is same as the color as Agumon, that, that means I can Digivolve until. Now the techniques are pretty much pretty simple. The X moves are basically the special moves. Circles like the finishing technique and so forth 
Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you got that audio distortion a little bit right there. I hope you guys will just uh, try to ignore it. I, I apologize for that. So uh, Now he's just basically telling us how the support cards work. Yep, right there. Uh, I'm sure it's not that much of a problem. I mean, but it's a big distraction, if you know what I'm saying. So, he made us use the small recovery floppy, which uh, basically recovers our HP by 300, and it's battle time. And like I said right there, um, whichever card we used, uh, we can't use again. But there are some option cards uh, that you can use to uh, bring some of the cards back into your deck. And now he's able to Digivolve. Like as, as you can see right there, his uh, two champion level Digimon cards are the same color as Betamon, so now he Digivolves to Frigimon. And the uh, cards that are in the uh, DP slot uh, uh, go to the trash. I guess you could say it's sort of like going to the graveyard like Yu-Gi-Oh. Now he's gonna... Yeah, he decided to uh, tell us that we use Circle, so we use X. I, I think he's just... This part is just gonna show us how the special abilities work. And this is the only card that we can use as a support card. Dramojimon. Like it says right there, it'll boost our attack power by 200. But he decides to not use a uh, support card. I mean, even if this audio distortion is a big problem, at least the majority of it will uh, will be the correct audio. But but yeah, like I said. If you know how to get rid of audio distortion and the big loud noises, please let me know. I mean, I would greatly appreciate it if you guys have a professional answer. So now it's our turn to Digivolve, but unfortunately, this draw wasn't very good. So apparently, uh, yeah, we, we only have, have enough DP to even Digivolve to uh, Kabuterimon, so we have to draw redraw. Now this is more like it. See right there, we have a champion level Digimon that matches Agumon's color. Since we have 30 DP, we can Digivolve to Bergermon. For this battle, we we both use our circle attacks. But the thing is, he's gonna show us a little trick in terms of support cards. See that little blue card right there? It's a face down support card. It's pretty much an all or nothing gamble, like he says. So he's making us use this method too. Okay, he drew a Gardramon card, which he uh, his attack power went up by 300, but his HP was halved. And I drew a Beomon card, which my attack power was increased by 200. Pretty much the exact same thing as Dramojimon's effect. And obviously, we make quick work of Frigimon. Meteor Wing. See ya. And the first round goes to us. Or it goes to I, that is. And that's it. That's how you play a digi digital card battle. 
I'm not sure I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the playthrough. I might go for like as far as I can go, like in terms of how to get all every single card in the game. I might do that. I'm not really sure. But I might just uh, go to uh like the final the main final boss of the game, and then I'll go to my next playthrough. And this is a uh, Babylon. She's the uh, battle master of Beginner City. Well, the first part of Beginner City, that is. But we don't tackle the arena until the next part. And uh, I'm going to show you the other parts I didn't show you earlier. This is the player's room, which is basically your stats. Like, it'll show you your what kind of tamer you are, how, many, how much game you completed, how many cards you have, how many partners you have. And we go to the menu and we go check out, check out our decks. Or deck that is, because we only have a single deck. As you can see. But I decided to rename my deck to a more interesting name. Ah, that's more like it. So as you can see, yeah, it's sort of like Yu-Gi-Oh. Cards are numbered. And now we get to check out our partner card, which we all know it's Vmon. And we can have up to three partners, but we get the next two partners later in the game. And uh, the so the equipment are, are digi parts. And we only have one digi part right now, which basically boosts our circle attack power by 100. So our circle attack power for Vmon is 450. And that card that was on the right is our armor digivolution card for our partner. And, uh, yeah, so we decided to go ahead and save it here, and that's basically how, uh, uh Digimon Digital Car Battle works, except there will be a lot more to come. I'm just hoping this audio distortion doesn't get too much for you guys. I mean, I don't want to make you guys get unsatisfied. I mean, I, may, I, just, I just decided to go ahead and use what I paid for. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I would have appreciated having an HD PBR, but that will be in the future. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed part one. I will see you guys in part two where we tackle the battle arena. Take it easy.